Albert and the Lion with the Yorkshire dialects. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool. That's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, the son, grand little chap was young Albert, all dressed up in his Sunday best. But he stick with his Aussie head handle, the finest that Woolies could sell. No, they didn't think much devotion. The waves was fiddling and small and there was no shipwrecks, no bugger drowning. Well, they wouldn't have to laugh at at all. So seeking for their amusements, the pain and went to the zoo, where there lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches too. No, there was one great big old lion there called Wallace, whose nose was all covered in scars. And he lay in a peaceful slumber with his head pressed close to bars. No, Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild and... Well, seeing Wallace in a peaceful slumber, it just didn't seem quite right to the child. So straight away, this brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with his osses head handle and rammed it down Wallace's ear. Well, you could tell the lion didn't like it, because he dragged Albert through bastard and swallowed the little bugger all. <laughs> no, father was seeing the occurrence, didn't quite know what to do next. He said, hey, mother, your lion just ate our rambles. And mother said, oh, I am vexed. Well, I sent for the animal's keeper and he comes straight away and said, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your son, is that? And part of it, I mean, it's a bloody cap. So, so the man is had to come and he took his posse out straight away and he said, how much to settle the matter? Father said, well, what do you normally pay? But by then, mother took a bit awkward and said, no, somebody's got to be summoned. So that was decided upon. So I went down to the police station in front of that there magistrate chap and told him what had happened to Albert and proved it by showing him his cap. Well, the judge said in his opinion there was no one else to blame and hoped the ram's bottom would have fair the sons to the name. Well, at this mother got proper blazed. Oh, thank you, sir, kindly. Let's spend all our lives rearing children to feed ruddy lions, not me. Never know. <laughs> really good.